Good morning, everybody. It's July 25th, my birthday. Blair and I are out in Porcupine Hills. We just wrapped up breakfast, getting ready for the day. We headed out yesterday, um, Friday, right from work. Uh, drove out. We didn't film anything just because we wanted to get out here and get a spot. So, um, plan today, we're going to do a lot of wheeling and uh, go to that fire tower is our goal. We've uh, wanted to do it since the start of this year, since we heard about it. So it is an active fire tower, so we can't go up it or anything like that, but um, follow the cut line and, and walk up to it. But this is our camp spot that we found last minute um, yesterday. So you guys will remember, we got Blair and his WJ. And for the people that don't follow me on social media, you knew that I had the Frontier. But that is no more. I traded that in two weeks ago. And I picked up this girl. 2015 Jeep Wrangler JKU. The uh, Sahara edition. It's all stock. It's just the Rhino Rack bars, some tint and floor mats uh, before this weekend. So, be some fun wheeling in it on these stock tires that aren't very good. I was spinning them on on dirt. So, hopefully we don't come into too much mud and will cause me an issue. But we got our traction boards and some tow ropes. So, um. Yeah, let's get to it. This could be the moment we've been waiting for The chance to feel alive Nothing's gonna stop us, nothing's gonna top this Nothing like we've ever seen This is where it all begins.
expensive things I used to dream of the life they'd bring And all the places I'd go I only wanted to show that I had it better off And all the people around me thought My ship was under control signs why they're up, but the biggest thing that's gonna happen is get yelled at. Wow, four padlocks, eh? Yeah. Alright, we've officially made it. We've made it to the, the tower. See it right there. There is a no authorized personnel only sign. So unfortunately we can't go back there, but this is as far as we can go, but we got it done. So we can check that off the list.
right, some of you guys may remember this spot right here. We've done it twice now in the previous videos. That's the trail where Blair got stuck. The first time. We didn't do it the second time because we were smart enough. Or Blair smartened up at least. Blair, did we do it today? Yeah, we did. We did all the way to Fire's Lookout, which you can't see, but it's probably too tiny on that thing. But finally redeemed myself. Yeah, we were way, even, I don't know if you can see the fire tower, but we were way on the other side of that too. So we just rolled up to check out a spot. So we just rolled up to check this spot out. Uh, to spend the night, it's a little windy, but uh, really good views, but we're gonna continue moving on. People must have been here not too long ago because those two logs in the middle were still burning. They were still smoking up like crazy. They tried to kick it out, but come on people. You don't wanna start fires out here. So luckily I had my jerry can full of water and was able to, uh, to put it out fully, but it's pretty embarrassing. It's Blair here with Adventure Overland. Recap on the day, went down Skyline Road. Went to the fire lookout, which I'd show you, but you guys can't see it from where we are. Then we went down a sketchy trail that took us to a experimental area for Porcupine Hills. Don't know what's up with that. On our way back, we decided to go up another trail and in doing so we ran into a biker that took us to this spot with an awesome view. An awesome sight. Overall a very successful day. I think that's it. It's the end of the weekend. Ready to hit the road. I've got birthday obligations to go to. <laughs> Blair's got family stuff. That's it. What was your favorite part? Uh, I'd say going off the beaten path. Finding those random trails. Firewatch Tower is pretty cool though.
Yeah, that's cool. I wish we could just get closer, but we probably could have. We just bitched out. Yeah, if we walked <laughs> maybe around this time. <laughs> hey, I didn't see it. <laughs> I didn't see the authorized personnel. I think that's something we look into. That'd be cool to go see if there's any abandoned ones. We get hiked to. There's got to be something. Somewhere, yeah. Hopefully not too far away. I'm sure. Yeah, I think my highlight was... I don't know, it's either that back pathway or trail. Where we just scratched the hell out of our feet. Yeah, we're super tight. Or coming up this one right here. With all the roots. That was a lot of fun. It'll be interesting to go down. Yeah. <clears throat> I think the worst part, I think we can both agree, is the stupid horse flies. Yeah. Yeah. Things are just starting to come out now. Yeah. <clears throat> They're just starting, and they'll be out all day until like 6 o'clock again. I'm still interested with that uh, <clears throat> experimental area. <laughs> That's kind of creepy. It is. A big blue sign. <laughs> Porcupine Hills Experimental Area. And it was all fenced off, too. That was on the other side of the There was a, there was the a barbed bar wire fence, fence, but still. I've been there. Good. Now that's our next mission. <laughs> Go for an adventure and <laughs> come What back. is in there? <laughs> but I think that we've almost done all of Porcupine Hills. Yeah, other than off trails that we just drove past. But yeah, besides I'm changing the the map to be the map this year. Not as well according to the map effective. you can't camp anywhere now because you can't go off a trail. You have to stay on these roads. That but defeats, it's a good thing we just find all these ones that aren't marked on the map and Yeah. Defeats the purpose of off roading. Yeah. Or overlanding I should be saying. But I think the highlight is this. The view. The view. Yeah. Have it saved in my yeah. GPS for next time. Yeah, Friday's spot was pretty good, but it's different. You're just way deep in the woods. Mm -hmm. Like way back in there. And you get some tree coverage, but yesterday was nice enough out that you could sit on top of a ridge. And even if it was windy, I don't think I'd care. With this view. And we have a pretty awesome fire pit this time. Yes. <clears throat> pretty epic fire. Fire. And it works good. It was freaking hot. Once we got it going. Well, now we just need to do this for all future ones. Until we carry all these rocks with us. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Well, that's a wrap. Hope everybody enjoyed. And, um, yeah, I don't know what's next. Either Blair and I, Neil's got his license now, so Neil can come out. About time. Do some fishing. But, uh, thanks for coming out for my birthday weekend. I want a big fancy car with the top back and shopping bags.